Hell to pay. Harry sinks ever deeper into an abyss of despair with no good ending royal biography. Prince Harry may be going down a road for which there's no good ending with his royal autobiography, according to broadcaster Andrew Neil. Prince Harry announced that he is writing a memoir that will detail the definitive account of the experiences, adventures, losses, and life lessons that have helped shape him, according to a press release from earlier this year. News of the memoir came months after Harry and Meghan Markle's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, where they detailed the pressures of royal life. The statement claims, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. He added, I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. In a new My 5 documentary titled 2021, The Queen's Terrible Year, royal experts discussed Harry's book. Andrew Neil said, the book itself may cause the royal family more anguish because it has never really been done before. The Duke of Windsor did write a book but years and years after his abdication. Harry's gone down a road for which there is no good ending because every book will have to be more sensational than the last. It's almost like he's still settling scores. Besides, Prince Harry felt he was being erased from the family after Queen Elizabeth's photo snub, book claims. Queen Elizabeth II's decision to allegedly remove a photo of her grandson Prince Harry and his new family made the Duke of Sussex feel he was being erased from the family. The allegation was made by best-selling author Christopher Anderson in his new book being released on Tuesday titled Brothers and Wives, Inside the Private Lives of William, Kate, Harry, and Meghan. In it, Anderson quoted a source who claimed the reigning British monarch had a palisade move a portrait of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their son Archie, who was eight months at the time, off-camera before she recorded her 2019 holiday broadcast, page 6 reported on Monday. The insider alleged that the 95-year-old looked over the tables where the photographs she had so lovingly selected were arranged. All were fine but one, the Queen, told the director, the source alleged. Then she pointed to the Sussex picture and said, that one, I suppose we don't need that one. The Queen's alleged holiday decision came after Harry, 37, chose to spend Christmas with his mother-in-law Doria Ragland alongside his wife Meghan Markle and their son in Canada instead of the UK, the outlet reported. His older brother Prince William was allegedly aghast when he realized that the photo in question was missing from the lineup. The source alleged that the 39-year-old told his wife Kate Middleton that his sibling was likely to be terribly upset. Anderson also claimed that following the broadcast, Harry allegedly told a pal that he felt as if he, Meghan and Archie were being erased from the family. Recently, Prince Harry reportedly asked the BBC to remove a certain phrase from the second installment of its bombshell documentary series, The Princes and the Press. It's no secret that the BBC's latest royal documentary, The Princes and the Press, has rattled the royal family, and with its second instalment, the 29th of November, expected to spill even more details, we don't think the national broadcaster will be rebuilding its relationship with the British monarchy any time soon. It was reported that the Queen, Prince Charles, and Prince William were to file a complaint about the two-part series last week, after the BBC denied their request to view the programme ahead of its airing. Fury over the princes and the press has reportedly prompted Prince William and Duchess Kate to ban BBC from their Christmas concert broadcast, with the musical special now expected to join ITV's festive December lineup. According to Express UK, the BBC has removed the term exit from tonight's episode at the request of Prince Harry. The Duke of Sussex has previously condemned the word, which was widely circulated by the British press to describe his withdrawal from the royal family with Meghan Markle, as misogynistic and created by a troll. In its place, the term Sussex it will be used when referring to the couple's high-profile emigration to the US in early 2020. Migration.